Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. This week, a productivity tool that cannot fail to save you time. Now, text expansion is great on macOS, allowing you to type in small strings of text and that text will then convert into almost anything. So you can have boilerplate passages of text, for example. You can fill in forms, calculate dates, run scripts and so much more. And we're going to do all of that with today's application, Typonator. Now, Typonator is by the team at Ergonis Software, and it's not alone in the space because many of you may be familiar with another tool called Text Expander. However, since Text Expander moved to a subscription model, some have been looking for alternatives, and Typonator for me is the best out there. It's a one off purchase and it's fast. And I mean, like, super fast. Now, the pricing information at the time of recording is in the description below, as are the system requirements. So I'm not going to cover those. However, I do want to just quickly show you this page on the Typonator site. We're in the Learning Center, and as we come down, there's some great links to hints and tips on how to make more out of Typonator, and they cover a variety of topics. Let's just quickly look at how they appear when you access one of them. And you can see it's a nicely constructed page, easy to read and well laid out. And these are well worth checking out once you've started using Typonator. And of course, finish this video. Now this is the Typonator interface and it's split up into the following sections. So we have our sets over here and sets are collections of abbreviations. There's only one at the moment, but we're gonna create more of them later. Then to the right of that, we have the contents of that set. So here there are 13 abbreviations currently within this default one. Now the abbreviation or the characters that you type are here in this list. Then as this one has been selected, you can see it down here for editing. And the expansion, which is the text, script, or image, basically the output of the characters that you type is in this window here. So this abbreviation is going to show us the current date. And it looks a little bit complicated, but it really isn't. I'm gonna show you how to construct this soon. But let's switch across into notes. And I'll show you this one in action. So I'll type in that abbreviation and then press space. There we have today's date as I record, easy. So let's create our own basic abbreviation first. I'm gonna click plus here. And the abbreviation field is highlighted. So I'll type in the characters that I want. Now, one habit that I have when I use this tool is I always start off my abbreviations with an X, solely because it's very rare that I use X in any words that I type. And that means that I'm not gonna accidentally kick off one of these expansions when I'm typing a normal word. So X followed by a K, then an R, because this is what I'm gonna type in to quickly say kind regards at the end of an email. I'll press enter twice, because this will also add two line breaks to the expansion. Then switch across once more. I'll type in X, K, R followed by a space. And there is the expansion, including those two line breaks that I added. And why did I have to press space at the end to kick that off? Well, if I come back, and come up to this drop down. This tells us when the expansion is going to take place. So the default for this one was when there is a word break, therefore when I press space at the end of a word. But alternatively, it can be automatic. So as soon as the last character is typed, and it's changed the icon here as well, which shows you at a glance when these abbreviations are supposed to expand. So now when I switch across and type, it expanded as soon as I typed in that R. Okay, back across, and this here is an expansion that is plain text, but you can click here and change the format. So you can have formatted text, which is essentially rich text, and allows you to add images in there as well. Then you can have dedicated images in here, as well as HTML format expansions as well. But let's go for formatted text. And with that enabled, I can see the buttons to the right. So the far right one is gonna offer your alignment options. And then the one just to the left allows you to access what you would ordinarily see in a formatting toolbar or inspector. So we've got show fonts here. And then here we'll show colors 